You ever have those mornings where you feel like it's you're in a circle? <laughs> Doing the same thing. It's been like that for the last couple of mornings. I have the AC in the background, sorry. I didn't share with you the grill. It finally came. We haven't used it, just haven't used it. We will use it soon, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Today I have an order from Etsy make that I made. I don't know if I shared that with you. I'm gonna make one of those. And I have a meeting for my oldest daughter on the phone that I have to do before she gets over here. And I'll share with you some stuff that I'm making today that I want to prep ahead. See the kitchen. <laughs> the light that's coming in the kitchen because of that little box. But then look. Look how beautiful that light is over there. If only the light would be the same over here as it is over there. It still works. So I took out, this one is for the chili. It's a decent sized pack. We don't like too much meat in it, but this is not a lot. And then this pack is for the beef noodle casserole that I'm putting aside so we can have for dinner the, the next day. And the new recipe, I took out the chicken. And the new recipe I'm making, it's got honey, diced tomatoes, peppers, onions. It's got a lime, cumin chili, oregano, and paprika. I think it's coriander coriander something like that but i don't have that or if i do i don't find it so i'm using the oregano this is the new recipe this is what i'm making today which is chicken fajitas and you put it in the crock pot so i'm gonna set this up put it in the crock pot and let that cook for the whole day i took this out for the chili we always like to make cornbread on the side noodle casserole that i've made before i had some other things planned but i wanted to make some meals ahead so that i can get ahead of the game and then i decided to list some things on this paper my daughter still wants to make a big board i thought the paper would be fine but i guess not she added to the board so maybe we eventually you know finish it but yeah i thought the paper was good a lot of good ideas so we'll see if we can get them done or not don't mind my clothes i'm comfortable it's going to be raining outside anyways today, so we're probably going to just stay indoors. Just had some lunch, and they actually just called for my oldest daughter and got all the paperwork filled out, got everything situated. Basically, a whole book of stuff that I got to make sure I have together um, and things I got to get before she gets here, stuff to get on her ride and stuff to get here, you know, once she gets to the other side. The only thing that's left is a pot that Lily had soup. Valerie has some tuna fish sandwiches. I had some acorn squash with tuna fish. Rainy day, maybe we'll do some rainy day activities. I don't know. Get ready for Lily's birthday. Always another birthday, right? I'm going to try to keep up with two videos a week. Uh, I'm going to do my best to share with you as I go. When my oldest daughter gets here, she might take a lot of my time. And I want to put my focus on her and make sure she's doing well and get her situated. I'm going to do my best to share as much as I can with you. And right now, I'm cooking on top of here the stuff that I need to make the beef noodle casserole. Then I'm going to set that up. I'm going to take the crock pot out real quick and I'm going to set that up for you. I'll show you that. And um, I'll put the recipe down in the description box below. And for chili. Chili is going to go on top of the stove as well. But after I cook this, I'm going to clean these pots and then I'll start working on the chili because the chili doesn't take that long. So I'm going to take out my crock pot and get moving. Not nothing smancy, but yeah, got the plug here. I'm going to control the temperature. This piece comes off. It's easy washable. It's really, really nice grill. And then all the juice goes into there for um, it could be easily disposed. They also have a foreman grill. 
yeah this is just a basic one and it's just for now because eventually we're going to get a bigger grill yeah i'll let you know how that comes out i started making the beef noodle casserole this is one of those go-to meals you know that you go to this is really easy for me i like to just throw it together and everybody enjoys it it's something everybody loves and i wanted to make a couple of meal preps ahead so that i didn't have to worry for the next couple of days because I, th I tend to worry always oh what am i gonna cook today well er, you know starving teenagers and whatnot and my husband always looking to see what we have in the fridge so if i can have dinner at least prepped i'm happy i usually have shredded um cheese but this time i just i did it myself it wasn't a big deal my daughter was like taping me so that i said hey, yeah look at me shred the cheese <laughs> but i just wanted to get some things ahead try to give myself a little bit of grace time so that i can get things done for my daughter it's crunch time now so i'm just trying to get everything done things we need you know she needs a lot of stuff i won't go too much into it but i just wanted to make sure i had everything prepared so when she comes i don't have to worry about it i'm also getting all the stuff situated for my kids for summertime all the activities so we'll see how that works out but I'll keep you informed when it I'm happens. I'm packing this up and putting this in the fridge. I don't want to bake it until we're going to eat it. So either tomorrow or the following day, this is going in the oven and we'll have dinner ready. So now I just got to show you the new meal and I'm going to throw in some chili for later. And we're done. First, they want me to pour half of the tomatoes. A little more than half. Just to coat the bottom. Use a spoon. <laughs> Just to coat the bottom. Okay. Then they want half of the peppers and half of the onions on the bottom. That's good enough. And then put the chicken breast on the bottom honey's in there so what's left over is the lime juice so i'm gonna add that in now afterwards i forgot to tell you that i put minced um garlic in there i sprinkled that over i wanted you to do that after you put the chicken which is weird because you have to flip the chicken to put the seasoning on which i'm going to do that now season one side flip it over season the other side and then after that you're going to put the remainder of the can of, of tomatoes diced tomatoes the onions and the peppers on top and then you're going to cover it and it's going to cook and there you go I'll let you know what that comes out like afterwards, but we also have to um, let you know what you can add to it, which is on the ingredient list. But I'll put all the information on the description box below so that if you want to follow it or you like it, you can try it. <laughs> That's what it looks like with the seasoning on it. it. Smells good. So, hey, I'm going to put the rest in there and have it cook. I almost forgot to add the tomatoes. I just added them, so now it's done and ready to cook it says you can add like cilantro sour cream salsa guacamole avocados mexican cheese whatever you want but well, i'll let you know what it tastes like probably not today because this is some meal prep but it smells really good but today is chili day but i'm happy that for the next two days i don't have to cook always calls for one can of regular dark red beans kidney beans but i also put a can of light kidney beans i thought it was gonna hurt none and it 
It looked like it needed extra beans. And I added extra tomato paste. So a full can of tomato paste. But I still will share the old uh, recipe if you want to follow that one. Or you could just edit it the way I did, but I don't know. I go with my eyes. Ellie want the cookies, so she made a good batch of cookies and she wanted to share a hamster. This is Loli's week, so this is what we did for her week. She wanted to play some old games. We had some fun on the Nintendo, which of course is always fun for me as well. Watched Pee Wee Herman because <laughs> why not? It's, it's just fun to watch stuff like that from the 80s. I share all the stuff that I grew up on and the girls got attached to a few of the shows and things that were from my childhood. So now we sit down, we watch it together and it's something that we can share together, but it was Lily's week, so this is what she decided on her week. But yeah, you'll get to see her birthday next, and I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed the recipes today. We have dinner for the next three days, and I hope this is it. You know, inspires you to cook ahead, take a couple of days off, so you don't have to make dinner, especially the summertime when you just want to be out there and you don't want to have to plan when you get back. It's always good to prep. So I wanted to prep a couple of days. I could have done more, but uh, this is what I could do today. So I got it done. But anyways, we'll see you next time, guys. And I hope you enjoy your summer. Bye. Okay. If you get a little bit of everything, it tastes the best. Yeah.